For years, the world believed America had won the AI race. OpenAI's GPT-5 and Anthropic's Claude 4.5 set the gold standard, each release reinforcing the idea that Silicon Valley was untouchable. But that illusion shattered when a small R. Beijing startup stepped forward, Moonshot AI, with its Kimi K2 thinking model. And what happened next changed everything. Kimi didn't just perform well. It outscored GPT-5 and Claude Sonnet 4.5 on multiple benchmarks, a result so shocking that experts called it another deep-seek moment, a signal that maybe, just maybe, America's AI monopoly had met its first true challenger. Moonshot AI isn't a trillion-dollar empire. It's a $3.3 billion startup, backed quietly by Alibaba and Tencent. But what sets it apart isn't money, it's mindset. While Western labs build walls around their models, Moonshot chose to open the gates. They went fully open source. On November 6, 2025, Moonshot unveiled Kimi K2 Thinking, a thinking agent capable of executing up to 300 consecutive tool calls without human help, maintaining coherent reasoning across hundreds of steps. On humanity's last exam, Kimi scored 44.9%, beating GPT-5's 41.7%. On BrowseComp, it achieved 60.2%, the best ever for web-based reasoning. And in Seal Zero, a test for search augmented intelligence, Kimi K2 topped the charts with 56.3% for the first time ever. An open model from China outran a closed one from the United States. Here's the real shocker. Kimi's training reportedly cost only $4.6 million USD. For comparison, GPT-5 likely cost hundreds of millions. Moonshot didn't buy supercomputers. They engineered efficiency. Kimi K2 uses a mixture of experts' design, 1 trillion total parameters, but only 32 billion activated per inference. Think of it as a council of specialists. Only the experts needed for the problem step forward. Add NT4. Quantization. A compression trick that doubles generation speed while keeping precision. And you get a model that's lean, fast, and cost-effective. This isn't just a technical win. It's a philosophical shift. That intelligence doesn't always come from scale or money, but from design. Thomas Wolfe, co-founder of Hugging Face, posted on X. Another open model surpasses a closed one. Are we entering a new era? One deep seek moment after another? For decades, open meant inferior. But now it's the other way around. Open models evolve faster because the world trains them together. Thousands of engineers, researchers, and enthusiasts improve the code collaboratively, something a closed lab simply can't match. That's what China understood. You don't have to win by secrecy. You can win by collective intelligence. Of course, Moonshot isn't flawless. Nathan Lambert from the Allen Institute for AI notes a four- to six-month gap between the best closed and open models. But that gap is closing fast. Kimmy can reason deeply, execute 300 tools in sequence, and achieved 93% accuracy on the Tau-2 bench telecom test, the highest ever measured by artificial analysis. Yet it's verbose, often over-explaining and still rough in tone and nuance. The brilliance is real, but the polish still belongs to the Americans. For now, where China truly leads is cost. Kimi's API is 6 to 10 times cheaper than GPT-5 or Claude.Zhang Ruiwang, a Beijing systems architect put it bluntly. Chinese models can't yet win in performance, so they must win in cost-effectiveness. That's exactly what's happening. Innovation has shifted from raw compute power to smart resource management, using architecture, quantization, and data quality to achieve more with less. Moonshot has proven that the future of AI might not be about who spends the most. But who thinks the smartest? Kimi K2 was released under a modified MIT license, granting full commercial and derivative rights with a single elegant clause. If your product serves over 100 million monthly users or earns more than $20 million per month, you must clearly display the name Kimi K2. It's more than a license. It's a statement. You can use our technology. Just remember where it came from. This is technological pride, a quiet but confident way for China to sign its name on the blueprint of modern AI. Didi. Das from Menlo Ventures wrote, Today is a turning point in AI. A Chinese open source model is the ever one, a seminal moment. The shock is global. For the first time, an open Chinese model isn't chasing, it's leading. That means the game has changed. AI is no longer the playground of a few Western giants. It's becoming a truly global battlefield 
where nations compete not just in research, but in philosophy and imagination. Moonshot's success isn't only about coding or benchmarks. It's about a different philosophy of intelligence. The U.S. builds AI to extend human freedom. China builds AI to strengthen national resilience. Both visions carry truth and in danger. One values openness as empowerment. The other values it as sovereignty. But beneath those differences lies a shared realization. That intelligence is now a strategic resource. As vital as oil, as decisive as weapons, and as unpredictable as the human mind itself. Moonshot has become more than a startup. It's a symbol of what determination can build when imagination meets necessity. The AI race is no longer about who has the biggest lab, but who has the boldest vision. And sometimes vision grows fastest when it's been underestimated. Maybe in the next chapter of AI, we won't just hear names like GPT or Claude. We'll hear another one whispered across the world, Kimmy. Because in the end, the most powerful intelligence isn't artificial. It's the human will to keep creating, no matter who tells you it's impossible.